Hey, what's going on YouTube? Adam C here. So I've added two of the three fish I've got from Beantown Aquatics uh, into the 220. Uh, the third one is that Cyanochromus niasse, and it's just because he's still so small, he needs some time to grow before he can come in here. But the Autopharynx heterodon south and the uh, Mylochromus lateristriga, both into the tank uh, as of last night, both doing very well. I had them in quarantine for about a week and they were both eating so well and, and behaving normally, uh, eating food aggressively that I felt they were healthy enough to, to come into the tank today, well actually last night. So let's take a look at them. Here is the autopharynx heterodon. Really nice color, uh, about four and a half inches or so. If he turns you can get a better look at his fins, but of course he doesn't want to do that. There we go. I think he's going to be a really cool fish in this tank for a long time going forward. And over here, though he is pretty small, he's doing really well, is the, <laughs> and he goes and hides as I say it. I guess he's never seen my camera before. That's the Mylochromus lateristriga, probably about four inches. He had a lot more color before I added him into this tank. He's a little bit stressed out, but no one's bothering him, so I'm not too worried about leaving him in here. I don't worry about them hiding in the corner. I worry about them more if they're getting picked on or not eating, but he's eating and not getting picked on, so I don't really have any concerns. There's a little bit of a better shot, but still taking some time to settle in with him. And you guys can also see, I redid the tank a bit. Um, I noticed some fish were claiming some territories when I had more rocks in here. I had some tunnels they could go through and stuff like that. So I thought I'd kind of open it up a bit, see how that works out, and kind of give it a bit of a different look. I've had the same rocks in here kind of stacked in a very similar pattern for quite a few months now. So I was ready for a different look. Just got the two over here, a little spot for them to swim through, and then the rest I just left wide open. I think it looks cool for now. I'm not sure how long it'll last. But for right now, I'm liking it. Let's see if we can give you an update on any of the other fish that I added from the southeast order. Um, the Cyanochroma samophilus is doing very well. He's growing a little bit. Uh, not from the southeast order, but my gar, my Lichnochromus is growing pretty well. There is the Autopharynx ovatus. He's really neat. He's always at the top. Sigmatochromus tole. They're all looking to be fed. Yesterday was uh, their one day a week when I don't feed them. So they're all hungry and ready to eat. Who else was new in here? Heck, I can't even remember anymore. I think that's a problem. <laughs> anyway, ever since uh, the large uh, Buchochromus nodotania has left, my Buco Spectabilis has been the one that's kind of taken over his dominance, so he's, though he's not fired up now, he has been quite a bit uh, here recently. And here I'll attach a quick picture so you can check him out when he is fired up. Here, take a look at this real quick. Check out those nice blues on him. Other than that, all the other fish are doing great. The sulfur head litho baits has got great yellow coming in, more and more by the day almost. It's almost like a neon highlighter. The black orange dorsal is looking much better than when I got him. He's healed up a bit. Again, he came from a tank with bigger fish and uh, he paid his dues in there, no question. Friar eye from the Wonder of Cichlids, doing very, very well. hope you enjoyed the update today. I've got a lot of other stuff coming up here. Um, new fish, which you've seen, and you probably noticed that I don't have enough tanks for all the fish that I've shown you. So new fish, maybe that equals new tanks. Um, I've sold a breeding group. I've moved two breeding groups. So a lot of updates to come. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.